Thomas the Privatized Tank Engine Story 1, Thomas and the Advertised Connection One morning, Gordon the Virgin Engine was traveling very fast as he approached the big station. Steady on, yelled Thomas from his branch line platform. We're going too fast, we're going too fast, shouted Gordon's carriages. And Gordon rushed through the station in a flash of gleaming white paint. Thomas's passengers, who caught Gordon's train into the big city every morning, were very angry. They summoned the fat controller. Gordon does not stop here anymore, he explained. But why ever not, they cried. This stop is unremunerative. Cutting it out means Gordon can get to the big city three minutes faster. Then how are we to get there every morning? Well, turn right out of the station, and a hundred yards on your left, you'll find the Nissan car showroom, he said, and disappeared into his office. Thomas's train was empty the next day, and at dusk, the gray controller visited Thomas at his engine shed. I'm very considerably annoyed with you. Your train was empty this morning. Well, that's because the bearded controller has forbidden Gordon to stop at the big station. Hmm. Well, clearly there's no demand for your service, continued the gray controller, ignoring Thomas. Well, that's ridiculous. My branch line alone covers an area of 150,000 people, he protested. I shall not let you burden the taxpayer like this. I shall put a stop to this very bad situation. Oh, yes. Thomas brightened. Oh, thank you, sir. I'm so glad you're finally going to make the bearded controller serve the population. I mean, what right has he to deprive ordinary folk of their right to travel to work? The bearded controller is a very rich man, said the gray controller. And you, Thomas, are unemployed. Your branch line is closed as from tomorrow. 